The one-step buttonhole foot sews perfectly sized buttonholes no matter how many you want to make. Though the foot style may vary slightly from machine to machine, its function is essentially the same. There is a holder for the button at the back of the foot. Open it, set the button in the holder, then push to secure the button in place. Attach the foot to the presser foot holder. Determine the placement and direction of the buttonhole. Mark the placement of the buttonhole on the fabric with a fabric marking tool. Be sure that the buttonhole fabric has interfacing appropriate for the weight of the fabric. It can be helpful to add a tearaway or washaway stabilizer under the fabric as well. Place the fabric under the foot as recommended in your machine manual. The mark on the fabric should be lined up with the indentation at the side of the foot. Lower the presser foot. Engage the buttonhole lever. Step on the foot controller to start sewing and continue sewing until the entire cycle of the buttonhole is completed. The stitch sequence may vary depending on machine model, but the buttonholes will look the same. Turn the hand wheel toward you to make sure the needle is in its highest position. Raise the presser foot lifter and remove the work from the machine. Use a seam ripper to carefully cut the buttonhole open. It may be helpful to place a pin at the end of the buttonhole so you don't accidentally cut through the bar tack. Buttonholes can be made more stable by adding cording, such as when sewing heavyweight fabric or stretch knit fabrics. The cord provides a raised surface as well as interesting texture. Hold the cord in a loop and place it on the extension at the back of the foot. Place the two ends of the cord into the grooves on the front of the foot. Secure the cords, then stitch the buttonhole. When finished, pull the cord loop into the buttonhole. Trim the loose ends or use a large hand needle to bring them to the back of the fabric, then tie to secure.